the cooperation of all sectors concerned is required. Ban Pao Hospital Public Organization A New Dimension of the Resolution of Health Workforce Problem The Client-Friendly Atmosphere Medical Treatment with Modern Equipment and Client-Centered and Rapid Services are the common sites in private hospitals especially in the capital city or other modern large cities in Thailand. But it seems difficult to make such things possible for government hospitals due to budgetary and manpower constraints. This is a district hospital in a small province not so far from Bangkok, the capital of Thailand, Ban Pao Hospital, Samut Sakhon Province. Ban Pao District of Samut Sakhon Province is not so far west of Bangkok. Most of its fertile land is used for agriculture. However, some parts are being converted into industrial areas according to the National Development Policy. As a result, many problems arise, including health problems of the people as development activities are moving in. Every day, Ban Pao Hospital provides medical and health services to more than 1,500 clients from within and outside the district with the illnesses that need general and specialized medical attention. Cases of chronic diseases are rising each day. That is the problem of the whole country. So this hospital has to provide both passive and proactive services based on the primary care approach. Despite being a government district hospital, its atmosphere is equivalent to that in a private hospital. Its physical structure has been renovated, using modern equipment to respond to the people's needs. The eye and cataract center of the hospital has many clients each day resulting from the good reputation and expertise of doctors and medical staff, as well as its modern equipment. Besides, there are other specialized units, such as the modern dialysis unit, renovated dental center, Thai traditional massage and spa. Wellness and beauty center for physical checkups. Radiation unit with a modern x-ray machine that makes medical care more efficient. and obstetrics and gynecology unit, where every client receives equitable services from quality personnel using the same treatment standards. The inpatient services system has been improved so that there are private rooms according to the international standards with several levels of options for the clients to choose from. Moreover, the information system has been modernized to help speed up the service process. The general public can get access to the medical services according to their insurance eligibility. At present, 
Thailand has got several health insurance options, so the patients do not need to pay as much as at a private hospital because Ban Pao Hospital is different. It is the only government hospital in Thailand that is operated as a public organization. Dr. Sulapong Bun Prasad, director of Ban Pao Hospital, said that services recipients know that the services here are provided to everyone equitably. There is no differentiation of physicians or medicines and the same rates of treatment fees are used for everyone. Efforts have been made to improve all aspects of services so that service recipients are satisfied. Regarding personnel compensation, particularly for physicians, the pay for performance system has been adopted to create motivation and it seems to be fairer. Ban Pao Hospital was established in 1965 through the cooperation of local residents. Its operations have been undertaken through several periods with stage-by-stage -stage upgrading, and it officially became a public organization in the year 2000, when Dr. Wittit Atawetakun was the hospital director, focusing on people's benefit, equality, and service development on a not-for-profit basis. Using the strengths of both public and private business systems, the hospital has reduced steps of its operations and is able to take management actions more flexibly under the uncomplicated organizational structure and, more importantly, with the participation of the popular sector in the executive board of the hospital. This is a community radio station located on the top floor of Building 1 of the hospital, set up to disseminate health knowledge and information to the people. It also serves as a channel for the people to reflect their needs on the radio. Water Wood Bunpen a representative of the popular sector and an advisor to the hospital, was one of the people who took part in pushing for changes. He said that local residents in this area are always alert and learning. As Ban Pao Hospital is not so large, it is easy to make changes. The executive board of the hospital is comprised of the chairperson and three groups of members and the hospital director as member and secretary. In the three groups, one of them represents the popular sector, whose representatives help make suggestions as well as monitor and examine the hospital's operations according to the needs of the people. Waterwood said that the administrative autonomy and flexibility of the hospital have made it possible to rapidly revise or establish the standards of services and the popular sector networks in response to people's needs in a timely fashion. The changes that have been made are actually reflected in the vision statement of the hospital's operations, being a public organization that learns and moves towards excellence in medical services as well as efficient and sustainable management with public participation. Today, the hospital's group of doctors and nurses hold a monthly meeting to discuss ways to improve their plan of action as well as operating procedures in response to changes within the organization in terms of medical care, service delivery, and organizational development. <laughs> Mrs. Jari C. Parat, Deputy Director for Quality Development, Ban Pao Hospital, said that previously we had a shortage for doctors and nurses at, the, at all levels. Some are supported to move up in administrative posts. 
We can see now that the personnel in all sections love the organization and take part in all activities organized by the hospital. Currently, the capacity building for personnel to maintain and raise the service standards is very important. A policy has been set to have more medical and nursing personnel in all specialties. Simultaneously, the workforce development for both front and back office services is also important. So fellowships for further study and training have been provided continuously. Moreover, the post-treatment follow-up is what the hospital emphasizes in the form of home health care to follow up on the treatment outcome after the patient has been discharged from hospital. The services for all the people equally are also the stance of this hospital. For the eye and cataract center, in addition to providing institutional care, it also operates a mobile medical unit in collaboration with the National Health Security Office to provide eye care for the people with cataracts, especially those who have no access to public health services in all regions of the country. The unit has treated more than 10,000 people annually. Also at this dialysis unit, the development of renal replacement therapy management and system project was carried out in 2005. In collaboration with the National Health Security Office to design a treatment model for the patients with end-stage kidney failure. Upon successful completion, the model has been adopted by many other hospitals and the dialysis unit is still operational continuously for all levels of patients. At this hospital, there has been support from the community for its development activities. Many buildings and modern equipment have been completed or procured with the funds donated by the people. The advances in client-centered management and services have resulted in rising numbers of clients so that many branches of hospitals have been established to care for such patients in Samutsakon province and Bangkok. Dr. Surapong Bun Prasad, Director, Ban Pao Hospital Public Organization, said that the next step of Ban Pao Hospital is development to become a community hospital with the potential equivalent to that of other large hospitals in Thailand. Then the hospital will be able to respond to the medical care needs of the people in Ban Pao and neighboring districts with good quality services. After we have been successful in providing curative care, in the long run, we will also focus on health promotion and disease prevention. The Ban Pao Hospital is, is just only one hospital that we, we try to do it uh, since more than 10 years ago. It has been very successful. Uh, we are trying to move beyond that. But as you may understand, this is a power struggle. The central government had to lose power uh, to the local government. At the same time, had to uh, provide autonomous autonomy to the public hospital. They want to the control. But I'm sure that the, the trend is there. In the near future, more health centers and rural health facilities will be devolved to the local, good local, local governments. At the same time, more uh, public hospitals will be autonomous hospitals. Today, Ban Pao Hospital Public Organization has become an example of learning organization Learning from the success resulting from joint thinking, joint action, and joint development effort undertaken continuously until there were organizational changes in response to the needs of local residents. And that is an example of the actual solution of the problem of health workforce. <laughs>